Barbecue in Australia is booming, and I'm not just talking about burning a couple of snags on a gas grill either. We're talking wood-fired, bark-crusted, smoked meats. I'm Jess Pryles from Burger Mary and the Australasian Barbecue Alliance. Welcome to the world of low and slow. This is a full rack of ribs. Now you can cut this down into a couple of different styles. Let me show you where they all come from. So first thing you're gonna get rid of is your chine bone, which is the spine that runs up along here. Then you go into this curvature of ribs down here. Those are your baby backs. Let me show you how this works. So when you make a nice straight cut through here, these little curved guys you end up with, these are baby back ribs. So usually this is what you'll see them do in Memphis with a dry rub. Take the baby backs away and you're left with spare ribs. If you trim off the rib tips, which are down here at the bottom, and you can actually chop them up and cook them up and make them into delicious little morsels, this lovely square thing here is what is called a St. Louis or St. Louis rack. It is the meatiest and it is considered the best out of all of the pork ribs to cook. So let's talk a little bit about why it can be difficult to find meaty pork ribs in Australia. Now this is Australian bacon. So you've got your shortcut here and the whole piece together is middle cut bacon. This is how it fits into the rib rack. Just like that, like a jigsaw puzzle. Now Aussie butchers are trained to just take that whole bit off and when they take it off, this is what you're left with. Now this is what I would call a shiner rack. It means that most of the bones have been exposed and the only meat that's left on there is the intercostal meat. It's not great for barbecuing, there's really not a lot of meat left on here and this is why it's worth talking to your butcher and trying to get the cut that is going to be perfect for your barbecue. When you start off barbecuing you actually think that pork ribs should be falling off the bone. Um, but I, I think the more you learn about barbecue, you actually want that meaty feel, that meaty texture still there. Um, you want the meat to be nice and soft, but you still want to have to actually bite it to get it off the bone. Um, you, 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 want, you want to see, you want to have a nice big hit of sauce, but you still don't want it overpowering the meat. Uh, the perfect bite of a rib should, you should be able to bite it and see your teeth marks in the meat. When you bite into it, when you pull that meat away, you can see a perfect cutout of your teeth. Your dentist should be able to look at your, your dental records and say, yes, Brendan ate this barbecue. What is my favorite cut of rib? Um, St. Louis style pork spare ribs, hands down. They're awesome. Uh, baby back ribs, because I'm from Memphis and it's the pork capital of the world. And in Memphis, uh, the baby backs is usually where it's at. Favourite cut of pork ribs is St. Louis cut, definitely. Uh, it's straight bone, uh, you get some even cuts out of it, it looks really good in the box and uh, presents really well. When I cook pork ribs I wrap um, two hours after the initial start and then unwrap and then cook a, bit, a little bit further until they're done. We definitely wrap with our pork ribs because we find that uh, it will help tenderise the meat. If you don't wrap, you, um, there's a lot of uncertainties about the meat and how it will turn out, so yeah, we definitely wrap. Smoke and, and that beautiful sort of sweetness that you get uh, with a really well um, rubbed or, 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 or marinated sort of pork rib is, is, you know, when you bite into that and, uh, you, you know, it's basically Nirvana, it's, it's pork rib Nirvana in heaven. Um, it should almost melt in your mouth as you chew uh, it should just break up and cover your tongue and the, the, the sauce and the fat and everything should just mix around in there and become just a delicious mouthful of amazing feeling and yeah. So it doesn't matter whether you're choosing baby back, St. Louis or spare ribs. There's nobody who doesn't like a pork rib. So fire up your smoker and give it a go. You can also visit us at ozbbq.com.au and join our Facebook group to chat to other people who are into smoking and low and slow.